Lulu, event is out and I just want to cover everything that I have found out about the event. So, if you haven't done the event yet, I will try to not spoil anything. But basically, you will do a bunch of stages with a very nice story by the way. And then you unlock two dungeons. First dungeon's easy mode, second dungeon's the hard mode. For farming, you will always do the hard dungeon and you will want to bring the uh, chef units because in the dungeon, you have to set up a team of five and those five members, you have to include Chef Gregor and Chef Yoshu and any of the Chef Egos that you have acquired at this point. Because each one will add a bunch of rewards to the uh, Bongi plushies that you're supposed to get. And uh, the Bongi plushies will cap out at 6k. 6k will give you a banner. If you want to stop and don't want to get the banner, then it's up to you. But uh, I've done the math and you need to do about 3 to 4 runs per day in order to hit this, assuming that you have brought your Chef and your Ryoshu. If you bring more, you can cut down the runs a little bit. And if you bring less, then you need to do more runs. So it's about 3 to 4 per day. The good news is that the Mirror Dungeon is only one floor, so it's not a super bad grind. But it is a pretty rough grind because you do need to do this three to four times per day. So for speedrunning the dungeon, the boss is generally quite weak to um, quite weak to slash skills, and you can also bring uh, a lot of. I, I believe he's weak to wrath and lust as well, so you should probably bring those along. Uh, basically, you bring the chefs, and the chefs have a lot of uh, slashing and a lot of um, lust skills as well. So that part should be covered already if you bring those two and then you just bring the rest. You generally, you just bring all your meta units basically and you just shred through the dungeon. You can probably just win rate the last part as well actually. Uh, at free to play wise, um, your strategy for the Hell's Kitchen boss, if you're having trouble, is that you want to leave all the chickens alive at the start. And after you leave them alive, you want to, uh, you want to focus down the chicken bucket on the boss. You just stagger the chickens, try to leave them alive as long as possible. And once you break that chicken bucket, you can just kill all of them. And then you can just focus on the boss the rest of the time. Pop your egos to win hard clashes. The most scary move that the boss has is a 4 coin move. And that's it for the boss fight. It's not really very hard. There's no other special mechanics that you need to realize for that fight. Uh, once you destroy the chicken bucket, and once all the uh, chickens on the field are destroyed, the boss is uh, easy pickings. And if you do bring Ryoshu for the boss, uh, she does so much damage. It's crazy how much damage she does. Okay, and then besides that, um, you get your uh, one-time clear rewards. Get Bongi plushies for clearing this. And you also get the uh, EX here. So make sure you do your 10 turns or less clears for all of your dungeons. Uh, the 10 required for the EX clear here includes the two dungeons. So don't be so don't be shocked when you clear your eight story missions and then you realize that you still have two more left. You just need to clear the last two dungeons. Okay. And then for farming wise, uh, you can bench the units. You can bench your units while you're doing these stages. But when you go into the mirror dungeon, you need to bring those units along. So that's the only difference between doing stage farming and doing the, uh, the uh, dungeon farming. And you should do this one because it's the most efficient energy-wise uh, to reward-wise. Yep. So you get about 160, yeah. You get about 160 if you bring real sure and Gregor. Then you add the rest and you get a little bit more. to help to cut down the runs in the future. Uh, yeah, so that's it for Hell's Kitchen. Uh, and uh, hope you guys can tolerate the grind. If you guys don't want to get the rewards, like you can just set a cutoff for yourself. Stop. For example, uh, actually, honestly, you you would want all of them when I look at this. Like all these are great. Uh, free treads, free exp, free pulls. I think that's the ten pull too. Like oh no no sorry, that's a level boost ticket I think. Yeah, but then these give shards as well, so you do want the shards. So generally, I would recommend everyone full grind. Otherwise, if you can't, then just set yourself a point or you just grind until you can't grind no more. Yep. Don't force yourself to grind, don't burn yourself up. Yeah, okay, so besides that, there really is nothing much else to the event. It's a nice story. You just grind for the bongies, bring the chef units when you're doing the mirror dungeon. You can bench them if you're just doing stage farming. And besides that, uh, yeah, that's it for the uh, event itself.